Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to the DB channel. Today we have an interesting top 4 game to dive in together. It is the Alpha Mon vs. the Blue Flare. Now, do note that this is a special no ban list tournament that was ran in December thanks to Cory 10 SG and DTCG Review. Now, as there is no ban list implemented, we of course expected Alpha Mon to rise to the top again with the 4 Toru Grey Mons enabled. Without further ado, let's dive right into the game itself as we do see the cool boy picking up the Toru Grey Mon, adding it to hand. Very precious card. Now we do see the Black Memory Boost coming down looking at top 4. Now if you guys are not familiar with how Alpha Mon is being played, it's usually the pieces finding deck but the deck has so much pieces finding, it's actually very consistent. As you go to the Oreo can, you actually go for game immediately in the same turn. Now we do see the Wanyama which is new digital mark introduced in BT11, allowing the draw one as long as he does have a blue tamer. Now because of the Gauss one being uh, deleted, he does actually play the green one from hand and does look at top 4 and does pick up the Decker Dramon and Decker Greymon together, adding it both to hand. Now we do see the Superior Mode going down, but Superior Mode being played in the blue flag is a very interesting way of doing it. It's not actually being hard played by using the idea of Kaiser Nail. Now Decker Dramon does allow you to put a blue flag unit underneath it, so you actually can put the Superior Mode to the bottom of the diversion source. And with just 4 cores, you can actually have a Superior Mode ready on the field. Now we do see the Chikurimon coming down which does stop Digicross to an extent It does hatch into the Upamon, does evolve to the new EX4 Gaussmon And looks like it does swing at the security with the Greymon, does into the Yuji Musha So the idea of fighting against Alphamon is that there's so much security traps such as the Tamers, the Memory Boost That allows him to speed up the deck pretty rapidly if you are not careful Now it does evolve to the deck of Greymon, does stun the Chikurimon But I'm not too sure whether it will be enough because he does have 2 cool boys and 1 Yuji Musha and of course the Memory Boost now he does push out the Dorogamon and he does gain one and draw one thanks to the Yuji Musha, evolving to the Dex Dorogamon to discard one to gain one more memory. And do remember he actually start off this turn with actually just one memory and here we are, he's at five memory out of nowhere, evolving to the Dorogamon further. To actually slot in the Orimon underneath it, he does draw one and gain one memory thanks to the Digitama and the Rookie. He does evolve further to the Dex Doru Greymon, allowing him to actually pop one of the card on the field. He does pop the Greymon, but he does have save of course, but he does gain back the memory and then further evolving to the Alpha Mon to slot in that Doru Greymon. This does trigger the DDG Evolve on the Decker Greymon, does evolve it to the Oreo can already with just 3 cores and because of his ability, it's gonna slot in I believe 5 cards to the bottom of the deck plus pushing back to 2 memory and it's gonna actually able to swing at the security here with 3 checks thanks to the 2 Doru Greymons this is a potential OTK if he does have another Orimon. Looks like he does actually swing again thanks to the Orimon Resident and using Yuji Musha to slot in one more Orimon. And this Orimon will, of course, go for the game here. And that's just classic Alpha Mon gameplay in a nutshell. Now we do move on to game 2 here and will Blue Flare be able to stop the Alpha Mon from actually clinching that kind of win again? Now the only window that I do see Blue Flare winning against the Alpha Mon is if the Alpha Mon does break or take a long time to actually set up what he needs to set up. Let's go for the Black Memory Boost here after having 4 memory passed to him. Looking at top 4, he does pick up the Oreo Mon, one of the key pieces to win the game. Adding it to hand. It looks like he does go for the Dorumon, which allows you to drop uh, X anybody. does drop the Oreo Mon, allowing you to draw 2 more cards. He does draw into the Yuji Musha and stuff, which is definitely very nice. Now thanks to the new Tamer, he actually does gain one memory if there's two Digimons on the field. He does swing with the Gauss Mon, drawing one with the Wanyan Mon, but does die to the security check. He does hard play the Decker Dramon to actually draw a total of two cards because opponent does have the Dorumon on the field. And the Dorumon just gonna swing at security here to prevent him from gaining further memory thanks to the Dual Tamer. He does go for the Yuji Musha, passing back just one memory to the right player. He does hatch to the another Wanyan Mon, evolving to the better Gauss Mon I would say. He does swing with the Decker Dramon into the security, hitting to a Congo, which is not gonna do too much this turn. It's gonna actually go for the Blazing Memory Boost, passing back 4 memory to a left player. This is a very dangerous move, I would say, but maybe he doesn't have much move to make. He does pick up the Milbo Dramon from EX4, and of course the Decker Greymon. Now, I would say it's a dangerous move because you do give the opponent the ability to, you know, have a lot of plays to make. But he does go for the Black Memory Boost, like he does miss a lot of cards and does pick up the Dorugamon. Which is definitely a card he's been waiting for for so long. As he does evolve with Strange Nursery for just two costs, passing back just one way to the right player. Now, with two memory boosts already set up, 
it might be next turn where the Alpha Mon will pop off. Now he does gain one main thanks to the Dual Tail because he does have two Digimons on his side of the field. Drawing once again for the one Mon and we do hit into the third Black Memory Boost. Man, this is definitely going to set up for the left player here. As he does actually hard play the Modoki Betamon, which is definitely going to choke the left player. Now the left player does move out immediately thanks to the Yuji Musha gaining one and drawing one. But he does actually forgot about the Modoki Betamon, which is actually cut off in this gameplay itself. Because he was ready to actually pop that 3 Black Memory Boost and gaining 6 Memory and doing Alpha Mon things. But the next one does help to, you know, clear the board itself. And we do see a Dagger Dragon coming down thanks to the Gauss Mon. Drawing a total of 3 cards, but we do see 6 Memory pass to the right player here. It's going to gain 1 further Memory thanks to the Do Tamer. So he's going to be able to do a bunch of things. And let's not forget that he's only at 1 security left for the left player. So this is pretty much game over if he does have the uh, Metal Greymon in his hand, which I believe he does have. So we do see coming down and of course going for the Digicross. And we're going to see him putting the Greymon as well as the Mirobo Dramon. But it's going to stun both that Dorugamon and Dexmon. So it's going to go for game very easily here. Now we do see the Blue Flare having a chance against the Alpha Mon if the Alpha Mon takes too long to set up. Now he does have the Rookie here to evolve straight away and then going for the Cool Boy looking at top 3. Now he will pick up one of the other, he does pick up the Doro Greymon and it to hand and two memories pass to the right player. He does evolve to the Gauss Mon immediately, not missing the Rookie again and does go for the Door Tamer already because it does set up for the save in the future turns. Now we do see the Yuji Musha coming down, plus he made just one way to right player. Back and forth I would say, Gauss Mon pushed out, swing at the security, he does draw one thanks to the one Yamon. Hitting to the security and then die because of Gauss Mon, he's able to play the Greymon from the hand, looking at top 4. And you'll see two Greymons already. He does pick them up actually, he does pick up the Blazing Memory Boost and the Mirobo Dramon. Very interesting play. Maybe he does have one of them at least in hand. And does go for the Gauss Mon hard play to pass back just two memory to left player. I does draw for turn here and it's going to actually immediately push up Nursery, gaining one and drawing one thanks to the Yuji Musha. Starting off with three memory this turn, he does go for the Doru Gamon for two costs. And does go for the Dex Dorugamon, which allow him to of course draw through the Cool Boy and gain a memory. Does use the Dex Dorugamon effect to actually gain one more memory, pushing him back to 3 memory of course. Does go for the Dorugamon here. Does slot in one of the other Dorugamon, does draw one thanks to the Dorimon here. And looks like he does go for the Congo, so not popping off immediately this turn, but he does have a protection thanks to the Dorugamon. Now with just 2 memory past the right player, no sorry, 3 memory thanks to the Dual Tamer, he's gonna evolve in the nursery once again to the Gauss Mon, but will he be able to stun the Doru Greymon? And the only way to stun the Doru Greymon is of course the Decker Greymon, but looks like he doesn't have any, he's just gonna play the Tamer and pass the turn. Now this is definitely very risky here because, you know, it's giving an opportunity or a window for the Alpha Mon to pop off here. Just evolve to the Alpha Mon immediately, very interesting choice. Does allow him to slot the Orimon from the drop zone into his Digisource, just draw one thanks to Dorimon, and looks like he does give one more turn for the blue flare player to react. And we already have the Deku Greymon here, he does gain one more main thanks to the Door Tamer. He's gonna swing a bunch of times at the security and hopefully hit into something good. And looks like he does swing with the Gauss one here. Does hit into the Alpha Mon, and this Alpha Mon will allow him to stop the other Gauss one from swinging. Does evolve to the Mirror Bodramon here to cycle. I think hopefully to cycle into the Decker Grey Mon, but looks like he doesn't have it. And the Alpha Mon is thrown to the trash uh, by accident, I believe. But looks like it might be the last turn already because the Alpha Mon is still standing and with two Doru Grey Mons underneath it. And maybe that's the reason why the Doru Grey Mon is being limited to one. Does swing at security. Does actually survive the check because of the 1k DP Dorogamon. Does we stand thanks to the Orimon. It looks like it's going to swing again and using the UG Musha to slot in one more Orimon and this might be it. He who have survived if he does hit into the superior mode but looks like he doesn't have the luck. And this will be game for the Alpha Mon player. Now this is the Alpha Mon that is if you guys are interested in but of course this is the no banish tournament. Now this is the blue flare deck list for you guys interested moving forward. And thank you guys for watching till the end and do consider subscribing, dropping a like and a comment if you guys do enjoy the content.